Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video with me. Today I'm gonna to show a doggy with a deep corneal ulcer. Remember, a corneal ulcer is a scratch or a tear or a break in the cornea of the dog's eye. Now, if the corneal ulcer gets deep enough, you need to have surgery done. That's not super common, but doing a conjunctival graft can help save the eyeball. My brother and his wife had this done for the Boston Terrier. It worked pretty well, but this video is gonna break down how they do it, guys. Check this out. This is just fabulous. We got a doggy here, and as you can see, guys, we have an area, the arrow's pointing towards it, where their cornea has been traumatized, and you have an ulcer. So this guy's gonna do a sliding corneal graft, which is amazing. Check this out. First, they pull the eyelids away so they can see everything that's going on. So cool. They're gonna do a really superficial cut on the cornea to make it a little grid, and they're gonna cut in the conjunctiva. They're gonna undermine the conjunctiva, just fabulous work here. There's a superficial cut, they're being super careful. I don't know about you guys, but this makes me nervous, but I love it, I love this stuff. And as you can see, they are now using a very, very, very small suture material to suture to the cornea. And remember, the cornea is avascular, there's no blood supply in the cornea, so by making this graft, we're allowing blood to grow into the cornea to allow it to heal. Just fabulous, super cool. And they're finishing off by, by treating the distichia, which is uh, some hair or cilia that's growing into the cornea from the lower eyelid. Oh my goodness. Look at that dog walk. It's all fixed. Super cool video. And so if your veterinarian says this eye has a really deep corneal ulcer, you may need to see a specialist for a graft, a sliding conjunctival graft. In most cases, guys, your vet can fix this. In some cases, in the really, really bad cases, they can't. That's why they made veterinary ophthalmologists, which is crazy that we have these, but we do. And they fix the really big problems. All right, guys, as always, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You guys take care. Bye.